Here we have a Rebo. Um, I'm not too sure exactly which model this is. I want to get some flaring in there though. Oh, sorry. Uh, right, we've got, so this is the A-frame swing. So we've got a cargo net. We've done this backwards just to give a bit more space. So when you're looking through the house, you can just see into the corner rather than a big solid rock wall on there. So you've got rock wall on one side, cargo net on the other. This customer's chosen a trapeze bar rather than the two swings, I believe. Um, but we've got two swings and the thing. This has got a rope. I don't know where it's meant to go. I think it's probably going to go there. Um, these are all interchangeable. So you literally just push it in, flick it from there. Um, oh, I don't really know what to say. A ladder up onto the deck, down to the slide. This is a 1.2 floor. There's another rock wall, and this goes through to the monkey bars. It's a really good design, actually, these monkey bars. They've got um, like a little loop on here, which means you always get it exactly the right size and right width for going over to the main tower. And then this has got nice, decent metal brackets as well. It's the best bit about it, in all honesty. I quite like it. The wood is really, really nice. It's very thin, though. So if you've got if you've got big kids, I had to get up on here earlier, or I went and got the step ladder instead of climbing up. This is like literally my finger. We use this same wood here for our balustrades and stuff like that. That's one of their main supports. Roof is a bit of a nightmare. You have to nail all that in. It's just not even like you can actually just screw. Uh, you have to drill out that bolt hole. Yeah, basically everything comes flat packed and you get about 700 parcels with this. So they sell it as a tower, then a tower with a slide. And then I think the options are, for example, you buy this, then you buy that then you buy something else and it comes as like pack after pack after pack. So there's about seven or eight different parcels that arrive for this customer um, with each little bit inserted inside. Um, so my son has just decided to come building with us today. And then um, that is that. So it's, as I say, he, Adam, how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. And if you stand next to it, just so customers can see what the size is gonna be. So if you've got a nine year old, he's gonna be okay on the monkey bars. And then go next to the slide. As I say, so that, that deck there is, you know, he's, he's gonna be a, what, 130, 140 high. Um, it's gonna be on the smaller side for him. So if you've got small kids, then it's not so bad. If you're gonna have, you know, seven or eight year olds up, then you probably only get a couple of summers out of it. Hope this little review is okay for you. Silly little things that I'm a bit unhappy with with these. <laughs> Classic, be unhappy. Um, I would generally, they do plastic caps that go over these. So you basically put the plastic cap on and then screw through and it holds these from wobbling. What's gonna happen over time is all this is gonna start sagging. These knots are gonna come loose and then the whole rope actually just starts bowing down because all of these keep dropping. Um, so I would, I would be trying to cap that off if I was doing this as a custom build. Um, and it's just like very, very small support. Very thin wood, very small, very low. But I mean, it does what it does. Small budgets, decent size set. If you're gonna go cheap and cheerful, Rubo's up there with, with some of the better brands. If you want it installed, let us know, climbingframeinstaller.co.uk. Um, there's a quote form on the contact bit, I think, or, or the quote section. Um, if you send that through, we just need to know that your ground is gonna be flat and level. Um, if your fence is stepped like this one, then it's always a concern on my photos. So you've got a step here, step there. All these fence panels are stepping, which normally when you look at that, it's gonna be a slopey garden. This customer's actually pulled out a lot of the ground um, and leveled off as much as he can, or got the gardeners to. So you can see that it literally goes up into that corner, but they pulled it off as much as possible. And this really worked. So it's just gone in. A little bit of like adjustment like on top of that monkey bar just to level that off other than that it's all good so you hit us up peter climbingframestaller.co.uk thank you